guys! Today we will create this artwork inspired by the celebration of Kwanzaa and the book Together for Kwanzaa by Joanda G. Ford. And Kwanzaa is an African American celebration of life from December 26th to the 1st of January. So be sure to check out our Bitmoji Museum to learn more about Kwanzaa and other winter celebrations around the world. As always, remember to be kind and respectful to people from different cultures. Let's go ahead and get started for today. Go ahead and grab your ruler. And we are actually going to measure. So place your ruler on the centimeter side which is the cm at the top and go ahead and see your paper at the top just like this mine measures about 14 centimeters what i am going to measure is three and a half centimeters so i will go ahead and go to three one two three centimeters and now I am going to do half of this centimeter, which will be 3.5, right here in the middle. I am going to make a little line right here. Now on the next one, I will go ahead and measure 1, 2, 3, 3 centimeters. And I am going to put a little dot right here. Now I will go ahead and do 1, 2, 3 and a half. A half would be in the middle between 10 and 11, three and a half centimeters. And I will measure three again, one, two, three. And that's at the end. I will do the same thing at the bottom. So I will bring my ruler down. Now I am done. And I will go ahead and Connect the dots from the top to the bottom of the page, just like this. There we go. And now I have partitioned my hole into one, two, three, four. Fords. Now I have fords. Now what I will do is I will go ahead and grab my ruler. And I'm actually going to place it at the top and create a line at the bottom just like this and I will do the same thing again I will align it and create a line and I will do that all the way until I reach the end of the page now I have finished now what we are going to do today is we are actually going to create different patterns for our kente cloth which is used during Kwanzaa so let's look at some of the patterns and gather inspiration from them. Now the pattern that I am going to make might be a little different than yours and that's okay. I will start my pattern by thinking of either lines or shapes. Think of two-dimensional shapes and figures. What kind of two-dimensional figure is this? It has three sides and three vertices. That's a triangle. And I will go ahead and do the same on this other one. See how I'm creating a pattern? Now in the middle part of it, I will go ahead and partition this square into thirds, three equal parts. What about you? What kind of pattern are you going to create on the first row? Let's go ahead and go to the second row. Alrighty, I have created the same figure as on the first row, but I will actually partition this differently than the first time. I am going to partition this square and two fourths. See how I have four equal parts? What about you? I am 
I'm going to continue with the pattern until I reach the end. Now I am completely done with my work of art. Next time, be sure to come prepared with markers because we are actually going to outline it and we are going to start coloring. So be sure to bring the markers next time that you come to class. I hope that you guys had a lot of fun today and remember that math and art always go hand in hand. As always, remember to be kind and respectful to people from different cultures. What kind of winter celebration do you celebrate at home? I hope that you have a lot of fun celebrating with your family and I'll see you next time. Bye!